Rebel Fighter presents Meltdown. All right, here we go. We got Nathan Schindler, uh, Oakdale MMA, Last Stand Fight Team. He's uh, three years with Oakdale MMA now, uh, working on his stand-up, and he's got a great chin, I heard. You know, those guys from Oakdale are tough. And you know what? They're everywhere, too. They're, they're at the small shows. They're at the big shows. Uh, they're at the little jiu-jitsu tournaments. They, they, they got a, a pack of young guys that love to compete. He told me uh, he was going to take him down and then knock him out from there. So uh, that's, that's the game plan for uh, Schindler. We got this young kid, Gabriel Loken, 19 years of age out of O'Neill's Karate with an own one record, uh, coming in here tonight looking for his first win in the amateur circuit. Gabriel Loken looks to be uh, put together. Looks like he's in shape. Very calm and collect. Well, what do you expect? He's going to be pacing right there. What, what, what are you What are you looking for there? <laughs> he did. He does have his game well, some pace. Some of these on. guys. Some of these guys come in. They look very anxious and moving around fast. And and some guys come in really calm and just like. Nothing going on. He does look ready, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, right here. What way? Oh, I don't know. Scout. I know that's another thing. We don't know any of the weights. I'm scouting. No, they don't even say it. We don't even know any of the weights. No, it's 2 0 something. Ladies and gentlemen, time for our first fight of the evening. Let's meet our finals in the blue corner. With a record of three wins in the world. James, here we go. Uh, Nathan gets a nice takedown. Yeah, he, he, he wanted to, looked like he wanted to stand for a bit, and he ate a bunch of hot ones. He said, we got to take this to the mat. I like how uh, Gabe Loken is uh, striking from the bottom, being aggressive down there. Nate, Nate looking, for his, looking for his opening. Loken's doing a good job of controlling his posture, looking for openings. And Gabriel looking great for an armbar. Arm great armbar attempt oh, there. Oh, and he might looks have pretty, it. It's pretty solid. It's going to be a battle He's of fighting. wills and strengths. It's turned into an arm wrestling match down there. He's still fighting for that armbar. Can't tell from this angle who's... Oh, looks like he's got his yeah, elbow out like on that side. Out. 
Kind of a reverse top mount here. And he's oh, going, going for, for a leg. A knee bar. Uh, All right, he's almost got that full mount. Now he's into the full mount. Yeah, that, that's not good for anybody dropping. to be there. Oh. And he's just landing bombs on him. It's just a matter of time. He's he back. The Referee's going to let it go. He's giving the ha little hammer fist. Oh, and that left a lot hook. of shots. Wow. Wow. I, he gave him a lot of a lot of time. Let him no, no, that, that was the end of the round. Yeah, that was. Uh, Did he stop the Gabe, fight? Or uh, I didn't think Gabe the was the de defending as much as he should have been, but uh, with those hammer fist strikes, hammer fist, hammer fist strikes, he might have thought he might have thought the referee stopped. Him. Yeah, I, I think um, uh, he was confusing everybody for a second there. Uh, he wasn't doing as much defending as he was just trying to hit back. And uh, the, if you're hitting back, the referee's gonna let you go from down there. But he was eating some big shots. Yeah, that one left really was a big one. I thought Loken was ahead up until that last round and pound there, but I'm I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Nate to to steal the round at the end. Yeah, I got to agree with you, James, on that one. I think he uh, won that round at the end there. And it uh, looks like he was he's telling you the truth. Uh, he said he was going to take him down and knock him out, taking him down. Yeah, I don't. I would anticipate him not trying to strike with him right off. I would anticipate that, but we'll see. Here we go, round two. Round two. Only two minute rounds here, so uh, you know if this was a, a oh. pro fight, it, you know, oh. uh, Gabe would have been stuck on the bottom for longer. And he does have a great chin because he's eating some big shots. Look at that big right hand, and he took it very well. A big. And going for that, he wants to get that takedown. And what a beautiful takedown. Nice lift to pass right now. away. And it, right back at the end of uh, first round, we're starting right back at the end, and they stop it. Oh, uh, referee stop it. The referee doesn't want to see him eating yeah, more, any more of those shots. And I think he, uh, he might have stopped that one a little quick this time. <laughs> He's, uh, you know what, uh, you know, you got you, you to gotta go with the safety of the fighters. And I'm sure the referee's thinking he ate a lot of shots in that yeah, first round. Yeah. And uh, those, those shots count. So, so it looks like Nathan gets that stoppage. And uh, James is going to get into the, the cage and... Talk with Nathan. Your winner by ground and pound technical knockout in the blue corner, Nathan Schindler. Thank you, Nate Schindler, and let's hear it for Gabe Logan, also an awesome fight. <laughs>